a woman essentially. So uh, that was interesting. Can we try to play a game of can Andrew pick out the feminists on the panel? So I don't know anything about them, but 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 can I just see if my if my feminism radar is up to snuff? Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, all right, let's do it. So we'll start with Big Red on the right. Right, pleasure to meet you, by the way. Feminist, for sure. 100%, 100,000%. Gotta be a feminist, am I wrong? I mean, I never identified as one, but sure. Yeah, well, okay, so that's, that's actually a good point. When I say feminism, I mean, uh, definitionally, the movement towards egalitarianism and the rejection of patriarchal systems. Mm -hmm. oh, that's yeah. feminism. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so you'd be a feminist, right? And then to the gal next to you, definitely a feminist. <laughs> Yes, by that definition, or no? Um, sure. Okay. Gal next to you, definitely a feminist. Am I correct by that definition? I've never outright called myself a feminist, but I mean, I... Well, let me just give you the definition based again. Based on the definition, I guess okay. it's accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Gal next to you, definitely a feminist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Got it. Gal next to you, definitely a feminist. Really? Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't consider myself one, based on that Movement definition. towards the egalitarian systems, with the rejection of patriarchal systems. No. No? No? no. Did I get it wrong? <laughs> I mean, okay. I don't know. So, so I just want to let you know I can totally cheat and just call everybody on the panel a feminist okay. by that, and I would still get most of them right, right? So I could just cheat. But I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to try not to do that. Okay, gal next to you, not a feminist. Correct. Not a feminist. Gal next to you, not a feminist. Correct. Gal next to you, possibly a feminist by that definition. No. No? Nah. No? Not at all? Well, okay. now that I see And then the gal next to you, no. and then the other one, <laughs> not feminist. Correct? Is or it, incorrect? Hold on. Is it, I don't know if there's okay. any room. Is there a possibility for you three to, like, scoot that way a little bit? No, no, no. Just, no. You, like, you three room for you guys to scoot uh, chairs this way a little bit? There's no, no room. No, there is, like, no room. Okay. All Sorry. Right. Uh, continue, sorry, continue, Andrew. Okay, so I called the last two. I think I got it. So I only got, I think I only got one wrong. Did I only get one wrong? I only got one. Yeah. So I think my feminist radar is doing pretty good. I question why you think I'm a fe feminist. Um, so, I, mean, I know so guess, but I'm just, I'm just going to, uh, I'll be totally honest with you. There is, um, there's, th this is completely non-scientific. 100%, I just feel like after talking to so many women at this point, based purely on how they're dressed and their physiognomy, I can tell pretty quick if they're a feminist. We are just almost the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. Plus, I have, honestly, more guy friends than I do girls, so I'm not super big feminist. Hmm. I mean, that doesn't mean anything, though. right? Women usually prefer the company of men over other women. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get into the feminist conversation... Uh, I think I do want to try to at least finish up all the pre-show notes before we dive into that one, but that would certainly be an interesting conversation. So, Aaliyah, yep. I want to bring it to you. You went through an unfortunate, unfortunate hoe phase yeah, after you 20s. ended a 4.5 year, 4 year relationship. Yeah. Uh, you got with someone who I was going to marry after a week of knowing them and ended up being ghosted. Yep. You were rated by your ex and used to be offended by the rating. Now you understand? Yep. Um, what so, was the rating? Uh, he rated me a six. Uh, the reason why I was offended, though, is because he rated other women. Don't you eight. think that that's a little high? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I agree. But I was saying that he rated other women an eight in front of me. And we were together. Oh. So oh, that's, that's why I was upset wow. about that. <laughs> well, that seems a little crass. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, you should at least save that for when you're out drinking with your buddies, right? Aren't those, <laughs> isn't that the rules? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, and then, sorry, he rated you what? He rated me a six when I was 20. That's above average. Yeah. Six yeah, it's is above, above average. average. I understand now, it, I fell for the whole, I'm a 10 bullshit, so. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait should everyone speaking, should we speaking rate of, yeah. Stifler asked everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10, starting with. I'm supposed to rate myself. Hold on. Yes. Looks. Scale of 1 to 10. Wait. Who do I want to start with? There we go. Okay, we'll just start over here. Why not? 
I'd give myself a solid seven. Okay. Well, you can't pick seven. You can't pick seven. You gotta pick eight or six. You can't pick seven. You gotta pick eight or six. Yeah, same. Right? Like, that's such a median number. Which I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay. Um, eight. <laughs> eight? Okay. <laughs> I'd say I'm an eight. Eight? I'd say 7.5. Ooh. Oh. I'm saying six. I say six. Five. Eight. Eight. Nine. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> I'd give it a ten. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be humble. <laughs> I don't know if there's really, Andrew, I don't know if there's anything to pick apart here uh, on the radio. Couple, just, a, just a couple things. I just want to be clear. Uh, raise your hand if you understand the question to not mean your personality or any other contributing factors, just your looks. Can you raise your hand if that's how you understood the question to be? Okay. So then if I were to ask you uh, what ugly is, right? Like what, what is an ugly woman? What does that look like? Can you describe that for me? No? Can anybody on the panel describe that? Hang on, hang on. Feminist first. Uh, Can any of the feminists describe for me what an ugly woman looks like? I think more of really what would make... Are you talking like physically ugly? Is yeah, like just that, physically. That's just yeah. their looks. Oh, just their looks. They're a beautiful person on the inside. You know, They've gone to all the great spiritual retreats. They're wonderful mm. human beings. I'm just purely talking about their physical looks. Yeah, but I feel like that's just kind of like unnecessarily kind of rude. I don't know. Why? I don't want to like state what makes someone ugly because like you're going to find someone who finds it beautiful. Beauty is in the bar. I have the beholder. So. The right person will see you as a piece of art. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, so let me ask you a question. If you can't tell me what ugly is, then why should we believe you about what beautiful is? And why should we believe that you're in that category? Believe whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I mean. Mm. Well, whether you care whether you care about it or not, I'm asking you a, a question. I'm not asking you if you should care about what I believe. I'm not. A, that's not the question I'm asking. I'm asking why would a person believe if you can't tell them what an ugly person is? Why you should think that you should be in the beautiful category? That is a really good point. Then it's just subjective, and it's right. all like society built. Now, going over to the non-feminist side of the room, I'd like to note that I think we're going to get more honest answers. To the non-feminist side, can you describe what an ugly woman looks like? Uh, she's disfortunate with her facial flaws, very flawed. Uh, How they present themselves? Gray hair, mm -hmm. obese, it doesn't deformed, like aging, herself. wrinkles. It's, that skin. Yeah. Leather skin. Yeah. What about old? Yeah, old. Is that, is that a contributing factor? Age? Yeah. I don't think I'm, so. Yeah. I don't think it makes you ugly, just maybe not pretty. But not as attractive. I, yeah. I think yeah. when you... But not as attractive would be moving you down the scale towards ugly, right? Uh, that's true. Yeah, not that's true. too ugly. Just but like I don't think they're but ugly just because you're changes. old. No, no, I'm not saying that they're ugly just because they're older. Yeah. That's not my claim. I'm just saying it's, a, it's a, at least a contributing factor. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, some men age like fine wine. John, you know, men are attracted to youth, and I exactly. think that's what and, he's getting at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I was just curious. I, there's a distinction. So how come, so, I, so to the feminists on the panel, how come they're able to describe this, but you're not able to describe it, even though you do have standards for what it is, otherwise you couldn't put yourself in the beauty standard? Is it just because you don't want to hurt people's feelings? No, it's not because, well, for me personally, it's not because I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but it's like, I look at my mom who has wrinkles all over her face, I would never consider her ugly. I mm -hmm. see every moment of her life in which she enjoyed, where she sat out in the sun, had time, shared laughs with her friends. Like, mm -hmm. I, no. I so, genuinely so I, th I think I understand what you're saying. You're saying, like, I know people I, personally. Because I don't think it's ugly. Who, yeah, who according to my beauty standard may not be beautiful, but I wouldn't tell them that. I, I get that. But no, I it, genuinely you, but, don't think it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I think I understand. So, what do you, you just saying. have no standard for what ugly is at all? I'm, None. I mean, no, but no. 
So like if a chick no, had a big hunch on her back and warts all over her face and she was missing all of her teeth and half of her face right here, her cheek was completely busted out and her tongue was hanging out the side through her teeth. Is that still a beautiful woman? I mean, physically, I guess no, but like you also don't know what happened to her. You just look and you're judging. Why would that matter? Why would it matter? Why would it matter if a meteorite hit her and that's what caused it or she got hit by a truck and that's what, why would that matter? <laughs> why would that be a contributing right. factor? Why would the why in this case matter at all as to whether or not this person is physically attractive or not? Because the why always matters. You always need to look deeper. I mean, if you don't think so, that's fine. If we can just keep it. Okay, but I mean, I want you to think about this. So I'll try, to, I'll try to reframe this. Let's say that society had a beauty standard where people with two arms were considered more beautiful than people with one arm. Whether or not I got my arm lopped off by a machete or it was blown off in a war or a dump truck fell on it and that's what severed it, I would still only have the one arm. So the beauty standard would still be the same, right? I don't, I'm not sure why how that happened has anything to do with the standard of what is beautiful or not. You no, see what I'm saying? No, I get what you're talking about. Like, I, no, I get what you're talking about. Um, like, a homeless person might not be considered pretty or attractive mm -hmm. because of how they may present themselves based off living off the streets for however. <laughs> so I love that you're just lighting a cigarette right now. That's so okay. I just was not expecting that. Um, the hell's wrong with lighting a cigarette? No, nothing. I nothing. I just, I, no judgment. I just was not expecting it. It, no judgment. You act like I'm over here snorting cocaine off of a hooker or something. Like, what's going on? What's going on? No, I just, I just all I did was light a cigarette. Someone, like, to light up in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> it just caught me a bit off guard. I mean, like, at support, do you? If you feel like you need a cigarette, shoot. Grab a hey, cigarette. Andrew, but, um, okay. I don't know if you want to, uh, maybe uh, just for the sake of time, uh, I don't know if... Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm done. I'm okay. done with the inquiry here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I guess just like, this is always just an interesting one to ask, but I don't think we'll linger too long on the whole rating thing. Um, will you be better looking in 10 years' time, starting with you, as uh, compared to now? Probably not. Okay. What about you? Mm. You're 20. Will you be better at 30? Sure. Looking. I hope so. Better looking. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, but you hope so. But what do you uh, think? Um, yeah. Better looking at 40? Shit, probably not. <laughs> okay. What about you? You're 21, better looking at 31? At 31? Or are you better looking now? Depending on what, ooh, mm, see, that's such a hard question. I, mm, I'd hope I look better at 31. Hope has nothing to do with it. That's true. I don't know, because I, like, observe how women grow, and they seem to kind of grow into, like, this womanhood. Like, I'm looking at you, and you seem like you've grown into your womanhood now that you've aged a bit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah, like, I would... I... Mm, yeah, okay. Mm, I think I'll be... I think so. What about 41? 41, probably not, but... Okay, but you will be more attractive at 31 as compared to now at 21. What about you? I think more attractive at 30, but not at 40. Okay, what about you? I don't think I will, no. What about you? Um, no, as much as I would want to, I don't think so. Okay. No. And then you're 31. Do you think you're more attractive at 21 than you are now at 31? Yes. More attractive at 21. Yeah, I was okay. more attractive at 21. All right. What about you? You're 18. Do you think you'll be better looking at 28 versus now? Yeah. Uh, 38 versus now? No. 38 versus 28? No. Okay. What about you, Morgan? Me? Uh, 28, yeah. Okay. 38? No, no. Okay. What about you? No. Not better looking. You're 29, not better looking at 39? Correct. Uh, were you better looking at 19 as compared to now? I'm better looking now. Better looking now. Um, I wonder if I should ch change how this question is asked. Um, are you more attractive to men now as opposed mm -hmm. to when you were 19? That's a good way to phrase it. Am I more attracted to men now? Do you think if we took a thousand men now and a thousand men back then, hmm, I'm trying to think how to frame this, do you think they would? be more attracted to you now or when you were 19? 
The men would be more attracted to the 19 year old. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, the simple way, like if there were a thousand men, do you think they'd be more attracted to you now or how you looked at 19? 19. Yeah. Okay. Why? So, but you believe you're better looking now though, despite this. I do. Okay. I think I right. take better care of myself now mm -hmm. than I did at 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. We have, did we get through all of the notes from Kehlani? No. Should the relationship be 50-50? No. I'm not going to be able to hit all of your notes, but... I um, Wait, there's one I Do you like. believe in gender equality? You wanted to... Do you believe in equality? Inequality. Mm -hmm. This is one you wanted to pose for the table? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's different than your previous one. Um, do you believe in equality? Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's come back to that later. Okay. Uh, let's see... Should a relationship be 50-50? We already talked on that. Uh, you said you disagree with the host on any on anything, but maybe thinking that all women are whores? What? Where uh, did you get that one? No, because... Not all women. No, I know, but like... 60% of most. women. No. <laughs> <laughs> would, that, would that be a biased thing to say, that 60% of women are whores? If that's what you think, then that's what you think. It wouldn't, but you wouldn't object to it? You wouldn't be like, well, that's a bit excessive. If that's the experiences you had, then no, I don't object to it. <laughs> okay. We're doing a callback here, Andrew, where she said 60% of men would... <laughs> In, in the bear, man, bear thing, would, uh, would opt to victimize. So she said essentially like 80 to 90 million men in the United States would choose to murder or essay a woman, yeah. essentially. Mm -hmm. And then it was 50, uh, 30, 50 percent for the rest of the girls here. So it's a lot, a lot of 80 million men, it's a lot of men. But we, I don't know if you want to, no, nah, okay, let's get through the pre show notes here. All right. Uh, oh, going back to Aaliyah, you said your now husband dated your sister. Yes, in high school, 16 years ago. Oh. It was their high school oh, relationship. Fuck. That's crazy. Nice. Did they, um, <laughs> were they, did they, boink? Did, were they, they did they, did they? Did they boink? They did. <gasps> they did. Oh. And me and him did. discuss that too we me and him discuss a lot of things so has he ever told we've been you, like, best friends for like 16 no. he, he told me i'm better i mean of course i mean he he's gonna uh, yeah but what's your sister think i mean i don't oh really talk to her about what me and him talk about so like at the wedding oh no she's fine with it she's moved on she has a kid with somebody else she's i mean she's doing great she's moved on it's crazy so all right. Um, interesting. You said, is it spiteful to be eye for an eye in a relationship? So if someone isn't giving what the other gives, is it wrong or ingenuine to step back? So this is, like, is this like about like oral sex, basically? No, it's, it's more about the 50-50 thing. Oh, okay. Um, right. I guess not really oral sex. It's oh. just mainly... Um, I, don't, I thought that's where you were going with that. <laughs> just like <laughs> if you're in a relationship with somebody and... Um, they're not giving you what they once were giving you. Mm -hmm. um, is it spiteful to step back and kind of reevaluate the relationship mm -hmm. and not give your all because they're not giving their all anymore? Mm. Okay. All right. Mm. That's what that. Fair enough. Um, age gap relationships. Oh. You said 15 years and more is gross or gross. It is double standard to... Oh, that's a different... Hold on. Okay, so we'll, we'll touch on the age gap stuff. Uh, ten, you said 10 to 15 years is pushing it. Sorry, but it gives me the ick. Yep. Mm -hmm. All I think I know about... I you guys don't like that, but it, it, uh, just, it does It's weird. Pro, uh, you say it's weird, gives you the ick, and that it, it's pushing it, and it's gross. Um, so... Can I explain? Can you make an argument? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I know that I'm projecting... Because I too have been. Okay, let me start over. So you've been, the in, reason... uh, you've been in one of those relationships, haven't you? Yes, actually, I have. Uh, mm -hmm. I was uh, underage dating someone that was five years older than me. Um, now looking back on it, it, it is gross. Um, it does to me it, that gave the P um, vibe, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but, yeah, but what if, about the uh, the eighteen year olds and them engaging in an age well, gap relationship? Okay, so it just the way I'm looking at it is if I, I'm talking about bigger age gaps, like 
15, like, okay, 10 to 15 years. Yeah, um, me so, too. So what I'm, what I'm looking at is like, okay, and I know this is wrong. Me and my husband even agrees that the way I look at this is wrong. Um, so like, if you're, if you've been with someone, let's say they're 10 years younger than you, um, I just look back at the fact that you were 10 years old and they were a baby. To me, I just see that as kind of gross, but that's where I was going with that. Okay. So how come it doesn't give you incest vibes that you could be dating somebody who's the same age as your brother? That's a good question. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that really relates. Oh, well, I, I don't see how it doesn't, if it gives you the vibe. So what you're doing, you're saying, how could you date somebody that young? Maybe that's a, that could be your daughter. That could be, this is where you're going with this, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, if that is the case, then how come it doesn't give you incest vibes to date somebody around your own age? They could be your brother. They could be, right? Yeah, I can see that. So, so, I, don't, so I don't even understand the argument. It makes, it's literally makes no sense to me. If that person... If you date a woman who's 15 years younger than you and you say, well, that's like dating your daughter, okay, well, then if you date a man who's three years older than you, that's like dating your brother. Does that even make sense to you? I mean, that part doesn't, but I don't know. No. It could it's, just it, be because it's a, it's of a the... completely It's a completely nonsensical uh, worldview. It makes and, no sense whatsoever. And I said that. I said I was projecting. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm just letting you know, right? Yeah. It's like it's, it's just Yeah, you make nonsensical. a valid point. I, I already know that I'm projecting. I already said it. Um, it's just how I feel. Okay. <laughs> so it just gives you the ick. Yep. Literally, it gives, gives me the ick. Mm-hmm. Well, what if okay. a woman wants that? Like, let's say an 18-year-old is trying to get with a 40-year-old. Like, women do sugar daddies or whatever. What if that's the situation? It's She's cougars. pursuing him. Yeah. Cougar. Um, yeah. Is that I, I still think, I still baby think it's gross. Do you pursue the man in the whole sugar baby situation? I don't know. I've never done it. <laughs> I've been approached to be a sugar baby, but they've always just like hopped in my DMs. And I'm like, you're probably fake. Because um, I know, well, I'm not friends with them anymore, but back when I first was in college, I knew women would go on apps to literally look for that. Yeah, I'm not surprised that there are apps that like hold it, but... I don't think I've ever seen, like, an 18-year-old approach a 40-year-old and try and do that. I've always seen the opposite. Like, Mm. I've always seen men approaching women in my life. So So even when women are older, does that give you the ick? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, let me give you a personal anecdote. So I'm 35. Uh, I've had multiple women who are like 19, 20, 21 slide into my DMs. Did somebody say ooh? <laughs> Did you just say ooh? <laughs> yeah, but they're like fresh out of high school. And that's like. If you're 19, you're in college, finishing oh, your. True. Starting your. Sophomore. So you think it should be criminalized then? No, but I, I don't know. I said they were, they were DMing me. <laughs> yeah, but like, why? Because they're interested in him. You don't, well, like, let's look at some, like, really successful uh, older men. Um, Mm -hmm. Like Henry Cavill, Ryan Cavill, Ryan Reynolds. You don't think, like, 19, 20, 21 year old women aren't attracted to these men? Not Leo, who only dates. Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. Until they're 25. (laughs) My fiance is 10 years older than me. But does it still give you the ick if the woman's the initiator? I mean, it is kind of weird. Like, why are you trying to date someone that's so much older? older I don't know. Well, let me, uh, let me reframe. Does it give you as much of the ick? Mm. Maybe a little bit. It, maybe a little less, but... Yeah. But, it, yeah, it's still, it's still a little gross, in my opinion. Why? Why is it gross? Um, you're just, I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. It just, it kind of just comes back to like, when you I got the ick. It gave me the ick. And I don't like that shit because it gave me the ick, right? 
That's yeah. what it comes down, down to, really, right? Yeah. I, wanna, I mean, honestly. I, just, I, actually uh, want, I, just... I actually want to tackle this from a different <laughs> perspective. So if I even, let me just grant you all that it's icky, gross, creepy, predatory, whatever. I'll just grant it to you. Make, a, make an actual compelling argument in terms of the benefits to the man for why he should date, for example, a 35-year-old over a 25-year-old. Well, Make an actual compelling argument to the benefits to the man. I mean, there's not really a benefit for the man. Okay. I'm open to hearing from the rest of the panel. Make, a, make an actual argument. Maybe maturity. Yeah, I was, was yeah, going to say they're maturity. probably emotionally more Does mature. maturity also sometimes come with baggage and trauma and you're less mm -hmm. good looking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you think maturity, the benefit of maturity is going to outweigh 10 years of aging mm -hmm. No. in terms of a woman's beauty? No. But she's more fertile when she's And younger. actually, the reality is this whole, this whole trope of older women being more mature, uh, there's plenty of young women who are mature and plenty of, older of women old who women immature. who are incredibly immature. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. true. It's not like you turn 30 and all of a sudden you're not toxic, you're not a piece of shit, you're mm -hmm. not um, a pain in the ass to deal yeah. with. All this shit, it, it stays and it gets worse mm -hmm. a lot of times. Mm -hmm. If you have like any sort of mental illness, that shit gets worse as you get older. Oh, absolutely. It's 100% true. Mm -hmm. Some of the worst women I know are not are old ladies, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. They're fucking old ladies. They're Karens. We've had me and Andrew have encountered them on the show. God damn, bro. Oh, yes. If we if me and Andrew get into a bad argument, like an argument with like a 22-year-old and we disagree or whatever, <coughs> it ends at the show. Some of these older women want to have a fucking vendetta for fucking months because there was a disagreement. For real? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a joke. Yeah. I ain't joking around. They, they 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 create spy dossiers, no joke. Little spy dossier. It's it's insane how um how this goes because there was an adversarial conversation. Yeah. So, we it's it's understood that uh pressing some of these issues on us or back on you guys um, in an adversarial way can be uncomfortable. Like, I understand that. But that doesn't mean it comes from a place of bad will or, or uh, meanness or cruelty. Um, it just means that dating in modernity is adversarial. And so the questions that are asked around it are super uncomfortable often. And having to actually think about why it is that you believe what you do is also uncomfortable sometimes. I still have not heard a compelling reason why uh, a a man should date a 35-year-old woman over a 25-year-old woman. I don't really know if there is a compelling reason on my end. I feel like it's what they... So then why should they be barred from dating younger women if you can't even make a compelling argument to the contrary? I think the only argument that there could be made is that if he actually can't have kids and the woman already has kids and he wants to share with those kids. How common of a scenario is that? Exactly. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Let me. I'm trying to figure this out. Can you repeat that to me? Okay, so let's I think say I understand what she's saying. So I think what she's trying to say like the only reason yeah. why a 30, like a 35 year old man would pick a 35 year old woman yeah. over a 25 year old woman, the 35 year old woman is more likely to have children than the 25 what? year old. And if he's infertile, his only chance to have children would be through. No. Adopting? No, I don't so think no, that's what she's saying, no, Brian. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying that he's infertile, and the only reason a man would even be with a woman that is older if she has kids and he couldn't have kids. Wait, he, isn't that exactly what, what I'm? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what no, I'm she's inferring something totally different here. Go ahead, finish, finish the thought. I'm just saying the only reason a man would probably be with a woman is if she has kids and he literally cannot have kids, and he loves these kids and he'd be like all right i want to be with this woman isn't that what i'm okay, saying okay well then is that, that is what brian was saying i thought you were going totally somewhere totally yeah, different I'm but sorry. brian was totally right that's exactly what i'm he was sorry saying. w yeah that is a w brian l and w brian because, uh, yeah w. that was w uh, brian okay he takes it on that one yeah i just um i don't really think there's a big reason though well i think do you feel it's gross because the man's predatory is that it it's predatory <sighs> It's okay, he's, he's, I think that's 30, the he's, he's 31, she's 21. 
I think that's a stereotype. I, I don't see. I think years. it's just like an age from like eighteen to twenty yeah. that it it's still kind of it's still on the cusp of being. What's that? Really you don't close. Touch eighteen to twenty year olds. They're still teenage. Like eighteen and nineteen. That's well, still you're a teenager. Not a tw- you're not a teenager if you're twenty. No, if you're 20, no, but you're still more prone to doing bad and making bad decisions than you would so if you So should 18 older. to 20-year-old women not be able to vote? No. I think it's all out Wait, the window so when you clear, turn 18. They can join I mean, the military. They can uh, buy a firearm. They can uh, get five figures, six figures of student loan debt. They can sign legally binding contracts, but and they can vote but they can't make a determination as to having a consensual, romantic and sexual relationship with a man who's a bit older than her? I didn't say they can't. I said your, what I mean is more your responsibility as an older adult is to just not seek that. Because if you're like over here, at like, well, because I'm, see, you said 31 and 21. Sure. 10 years to me is like, whatever, that's fine. Okay, so 30, like the 31, 35 and 20, 15 years. Oh, sorry, I did not register that in my brain. 35 and 20? Yeah, let's let's say that that's it. I mean, 15 years, that's still slightly weird to me. I don't know why you can't just find someone your own age. That's pushing well, it I mean, me that too. just kind of goes for anyone. The man is motivated to date a younger woman because fertility. she's... Because she's pretty. No, 